On February 8th, 2020, Juan Toscano Anderson made his first NBA basket against the Los Angeles Lakers. As on national television, he made a three-pointer to tie the game with a little over three minutes to go in the first quarter. This was the basket of a lifetime for Toscano Anderson because after years of hard work and a steady grind, Juan was now playing against LeBron James in his first NBA game ever on national television. And now Juan has been signed by the Warriors for the rest of the season. This was a huge deal as as just a few years before, Juan Toscano Anderson would average only four points per game in college. Well, 3.8 to be exact. But yes, the stats do not lie here. After completing college at Marquette, Juan Toscano Anderson did not even bother to put his name into the 2015 draft because there was no point. But now the man is playing in the NBA and the question has to be asked, how? How did someone who many would consider to be a below average player in college work his way all the way to the highest level of basketball possible? Well, as you were about to see, sometimes having a persistent mindset can lead to incredible results. So what's up guys, Mike here, and today we are going to be looking at one of the most amazing stories the NBA has seen in recent history. Because Juan Toscano Anderson's journey from a below average college basketball player to an NBA player is just absolutely incredible. Now, before we jump into the video, I do want to say make sure to leave a like. It helps out a ton. You guys have been killing it with likes lately. Thank you so much. With that said, let's jump into the video. Juan Toscano Anderson was born on April 10th, 1993 in Oakland, California. And growing up in East Oakland, Juan was immediately a diehard Warriors fan and in general, just loved playing basketball. The thing is though, while he did love the game, Juan was not an extreme natural talent like most NBA prospects. In fact, moving ahead here to his sophomore year in high school, Juan would average just five points per game and was on absolutely nobody's radar recruiting wise. This was when Juan would first begin to really show the resilience that would eventually lead him into the league. Before we continue guys, I do want to say thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Now, SeatGeek is an app that takes all of the best ticket prices from around the internet internet and brings them all together on their app for you to see so that you can get the best deal. And one of the coolest things is that SeatGeek makes it very easy to see what the best tickets are because they score every single ticket on a scale of 0 to 100 based on how good that ticket's price is. And when you're on the app looking at tickets, SeatGeek also gives you a preview of the seat you're about to buy, which I think is an awesome feature because you get to preview the experience you're about to have. So guys, if you want the best tickets for the best prices, download SeatGeek and use the promo code 2KMike for $20 off your first order. Also, the link to SeatGeek will be in the description. And now let's continue with the video. As after grinding, after spending countless hours in the gym, Juan would improve so much that by his senior year in high school, he had become a star, leading his team Castro Valley to a 30-2 and record. And as a result of this, Juan was officially named the 61st best high school senior in America. Already an incredible feet for someone who had averaged five points per game just two years before. And even better, Juan would receive a full scholarship to the University of Marquette. However, it was at Marquette that, of course, more bumps in the road began to emerge. As a top 100 recruit in the nation, Juan was expected to at least make some type of immediate impact for his team. However, during his freshman year, he would average just 0.7 points per game, a number that has to make him simply one of the most disappointing recruits Marquette has ever seen. And going even further here, the man would not even record 10 points in a single college game until his junior year. And it was at that point that the improvement to Juan's game offensively had been minimal at best. As during his junior season, Juan averaged just 3.2 points per game and played just 13.5 minutes per game. Which meant, of course, Juan had just one season left to prove himself. But because his game had appeared to stagnate, fans were not exactly hopeful. Again, though, Juan Toscano Anderson is just not the type of man who ever gives up on his dreams and suddenly Juan would improve dramatically. In his senior season, he would average 8.3 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 1.1 steals per game. But still, playing on a losing Marquette team, Juan was not seen as anything close to an NBA prospect. 
And it is at this point I want to emphasize again that for his college career, Juan Toscano Anderson averaged just 3.8 points per game total. To show you how extremely rare that is, take a look at this chart of 10 other undrafted players who are also four-year seniors who made their NBA debut this year. As you can see, the average points per game of these 10 players was 11.35 points per game. Far, far above Juan's average of 3.8. And going even further here after looking at this list, Juan was not only not selected in the NBA draft, but he also received zero professional basketball offers in the summer of 2015. Think of how crazy that is. Not a single professional contract was offered to him, and it was at this point that almost everyone in the world would give up. However, that was simply not in Juan's blood. He would recall at the time, quote, I've run into adversity a lot in my life in many different ways, so this is just another obstacle that I'll overcome. And luckily, Juan would receive a life vest, as the Mexican national team would offer him a chance to play even though he had only been to Mexico once in his life at the age of six and did not speak Spanish. However, with that said, Juan's Mexican heritage would prove to be an instrumental part of his journey, and this opportunity would lead to him catching a break in his professional basketball career. Because after short stints playing in Argentina and Venezuela, Juan would move on to playing professional basketball in Mexico, and it was there where his career would really take off. As at the age of 25, Juan would actually win the MVP of the Mexican League and became a legitimate celebrity in Mexico. And it was because that he was now the MVP of the Mexican League that Juan would finally receive an offer from the Santa Cruz Warriors of of the G. Juan would end up making the team, and in the 2019 season, he put up averages of 7 points, 6.8 rebounds, 2.1 assists, and 1.3 steals while shooting 43.8% from the field and 34.1% from three. Now, I understand that these numbers are not crazy. However, what was crazy was Juan's presence on defense. It is Juan's defense that has carried him. It is Juan's defense that would eventually lead to him signing a contract with the real Golden State Warriors, as when we look at his advanced stats for the 2019 G League season. Juan's 99 defensive rating was fifth in the entire league and his 2.3 defensive win shares were sixth. On top of this, his impact was certainly felt as Santa Cruz would go on to make the G League conference finals. And so because of his defensive ability and because of his team first mentality, Juan would impress the Warriors franchise enough to where he received a training camp offer this season. It was also during this time that he would change his jersey number to a very unique number 95, a number that carries a significant meaning for Juan as his grandfather actually immigrated to Oakland from Mexico and bought his first house on 95th Avenue. Again though, despite the training camp invite, nothing really came easy for Juan and so he was sent to the G League again this season. It was there though that Juan's hard work again showed itself. In an expanded offensive role where his field goal attempts went up to 10.2 compared to 6.3 last season, in the 2000 20 G League season so far, Juan has averaged 12.5 points, 9.2 rebounds, 2.6 assists, and 1.3 steals a game. And as Juan improved, the Golden State Warriors in general were an NBA team that was in a free fall. The franchise knew that some major changes were needed, and first up, of course, was the massive D'Angelo Russell for Andrew Wiggins trade. From there, more moves would follow, and this led to Juan Toscano Anderson, a player who had modeled his game as a 3 and D prospect in the mold of Trevor Ariza, finally getting the opportunity he had worked so hard to achieve. Golden State would sign him to a contract for the rest of the 2020 season, which meant nearly five years after completing his college career, averaging just 3.8 points per game and being seen as a prospect that was not even good enough to enter his name in the NBA draft, Juan Toscano Anderson would make his NBA debut against the Lakers on national television. This is an incredible story, and as Juan has said himself, I don't quit. Reason why I am here today. And knowing what Juan has overcome, I would never, ever bet against him. And there we have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like. Again, it helps out so much. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and make sure to turn notifications on so you do not miss an upload. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You're awesome. We all know it. And
and as always have an awesome day and cue that music by the way if you're still here while the music is cued here are two videos i think you are going to love watching all you have to do is just click on either one of them on the screen right here and other than that guys again have a great day and peace